What's going on everybody? Eric here with EricCompressorPartsOnline.com uh, Today I'm going to show you how to do a capacitor test. How to perform a simple test on a motor start or run capacitor. And uh, we have a capacitor on the left that I know is good, brand new. And we have a multimeter here, an analog multimeter or voltmeter. It's for the purpose of testing. Um, so you would be able to use this uh, as a test for any motor start or run capacitor. Uh, typically in an air compressor, which we're concerned about here, obviously at ACPO, um, you'll have a defective capacitor if the motor simply doesn't start, but also if it hums when you turn it on. Sometimes it will simply uh, hum, uh, make a noise like that when you turn it on, or it won't stay running. Uh, if that is the case, then you have a probably have defective capacitor. All right, if you don't have a capacitor tester, which will measure the microfarad uh, rating of, say, capacitor, you can use this. Pretty inexpensive, pick them up for about 25 bucks. Um, so what we're gonna do first and foremost, is very important, these little guys can hold a big charge and it can knock you on your butt if you don't watch out. We're gonna discharge this on the two terminals with an insulated uh, screwdriver. Just touch it across both terminals at the same time, like so, and that will discharge it, okay? So we're gonna take the voltage meter and we're going to set it on the ohm setting and on the audible setting so you can actually hear it when you touch both terminals you'll hear a, a beep and what this should do being it's a good capacitor the needle should jump up spike up really quickly not necessarily all the way to the right however and then it should fall back down slowly as the capacitor is hooking up the, the voltage put forth through by the tester uh, back to the infinity all right so we're going to go ahead and touch one and just kind of set it there and we're going to touch the second terminal and you'll see the meter jump jump up make that little beep and fall back down gradually to infinity so that's uh, probably a good capacitor you could use a more uh, detailed more specific test uh, but uh, this is a good idea to tell if it's just 100 uh, percent defective or not all right, if it was defective, the meter would jump all the way to the right to zero, and it would stay there. So if that's the case, then, well, this guy's got no juice any longer, and you want to probably replace it. So if you have any other questions, you can uh, feel free to uh, go online, send us an email, but this is uh, really just a real simple way to do it, and this should uh, be uh, pretty self-explanatory once you have a multimeter, um, pretty easy. Uh, to replace capacitor if it is defective, look for your make and model number and always use your OEM part number if possible. Um, if not, you can go under our generic air compressor parts, click on electric motors and capacitors from there, and we sell them by you know, the ratings, uh, voltage rating and microfarad rating. So uh, take a look and hopefully that helped you guys out. We'll see you next time.